Hi, it's Nikki here and welcome to a whole new topic in this month's Curious L&D Conversations. This month we're talking about four ways of becoming a better line manager. Now, whether you are a line manager yourself or whether you are somebody who strategically manages managers, um, all of this stuff applies at whichever level. And over the four episodes, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start off with a quite a big topic and work our way down into some specifics. So it's almost like a funnel effect. And of course, there are a gazillion ways to become a better line manager. So we're just touching on four. But the first one is a biggie. The first one is all about communication. Um, and my spinning wheel goes some way of illustrating what I mean by this. So let's say, where are we at? We've got a parrot. I'm calling that a parrot. <laughs> I don't know whether it is or it's not. Um, so let's say you're a parrot uh, and your style of communication is to, well, let's use that analogy, to to, to fly at a high level, um, to be able to uh, squawk your information to others and, and expect it to be heard. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, but you have people in your team who are, more parrots, bears. Uh, so bears might want time to go and sit in their cave and think about things. I really haven't thought this analogy through, but it's kind of working. Um, so we've also got, what have we got? We've got bunny rabbits. So bunny rabbits want to hop around and get very excited about new bits of information, whether it's true or it isn't. Um, and we've got, what else have we got? They keep landing on the same things. I need to turn it around. Monkeys. So again, monkeys might be the ones that are a little bit mischievous and they kind of go, have you heard? Um, and all this kind of stuff. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Communication. The whole point to my uh, spinning wheel here is that your style of communication may feel very comfortable to you. The fact that you want to squawk this information out and expect it to happen. But actually that bunny rabbit does want to hop up and down and get a bit excited about stuff. So what is there in your communication to help them A, understand what it is, but also let them know is it appropriate to be hopping around um, with the bit of communication that you want to give them. Let's put this into proper business talk rather than bunny rabbits and, and parrots. If you are a line manager and you constantly go to your go-to communication style, you will find that you are less effective in getting what you want from others because people have to work harder to put it into their own way of thinking, their own preferences. Um, they might take longer because they're procrastinating about whether to come and clarify it back with you. So the key thing here is just to go into their world and think, right, if I'm communicating with a person who actually needs the, the niceties first, the hi, how was you? How was your weekend? How's, how's your brother doing? I know he did the marathon at the weekend. If somebody needs that, then you have a choice. And the choice is, do you give them that? And do you make them feel comfortable and therefore more relaxed into the conversation, which is then about, okay, so we've got that project that's coming up and I know that we're struggling with that. So I want to talk more about it. Or do you go straight into, hi, we've got the project. I need you to talk me through it. In which case you'll put them on the back foot. I'm not saying you have to do it. You don't have to do anything, um, especially nothing that I say. But to consider it is how often do you go into the uh, the zoo? <laughs> how often do you step into the zoo and, and start to think about, right, who are all my different people that I've got and how do I want to communicate with them? You may find that you do just need a blanket communication as a, as a stepping in stone to, to getting stuff done. But actually, there may be one or two people that you think they're going to need something slightly different from me in order for me to get what it is that I need. So communication is our first step in terms of being uh, becoming a better manager is considering how other people want to be communicated with, not just your own preference. In the next session, what we're going to do, like I said before, we are going to drill this down into the, the so what. So now that you've given the information, so what happens with that? So if you're interested in that, join me. You can always subscribe to the channel or put some comments uh, below. And I'd, I'd love to hear what your natural preference for communication is. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode.